24 doesn't include session count directly in the query, but it easy to calculate. All you need is one line of SQL code. Let me show you. I already prepared it. But first, hi, my name is Gala. I'm marketing BI analyst and the founder of Kelly Reports. On my website, you will find Looker Studio templates for marketing and sales and a blog about Google Sheets, Looker Studio and BigQuery for marketing analytics. Subscribe to my blog to get a free Looker Studio template based on G4 data. You will have emails once per month. So let's back to our query. Uh, in G4, export to BigQuery sessions are in standard column. Um, if you go here, it is event date and there is no session column. Uh, but every event includes an GA session ID inside event parameters. Here's a key here. We can combine that with the user ID to build unique session like this. Uh, how we do it? We use select from my G folder and I use table suffix. I already explained it in several videos how I do it. So here I use date, uh, date normally in a string by default. So I parse it using this parse date function to see date. Then uh, this section, this is our section stop. So let's read it from um, the middle. So we do subquery, we select int value integer value from event parameters where k is j session id um, so we take session id uh, and we count we unify user id with session id and we concat it means unify so we unify user id plus uh, session id and we count distinct of this we can run this query get a result it will be number of sessions by day um, this query gives you clean day by day sessions count perfect uh, for looker studio reports or debug and traffic drops and you can use this query as a part of your big um, uh, big query <laughs> like bigger uh, script to count sessions if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you want more short tutorials like this with G4 and Bye bye.